Python has more than 400 Towson packages, but if you want to build a career in data science, you better know these eight Python modules that you'll be using very frequently as a data scientist. So let's start with the first one, which is NumPy. If you're manipulating huge volume of sequential data, and if you're using Python list, then your life is going to be slow. For that reason, you need NumPy which provides n dimensional array, object that is very very memory efficient and fast as well. It also provides so many ready-made built-in functions that you will be using often for your needs. The second one is Pandas. Pandas is built on top of NumPy array and it provides fast and memory efficient tabular data structure called data frame. Now if you are doing exploded data analysis or machine learning, you will have to use Pandas. Go check any Jupyter notebook on Kegel most of them are using Pandas. Already now let's say you are doing simple weather analysis and if you use plain Python for that you will have to write 70 lines of code. And the same thing can be done in 5 lines in Panda, so it's super convenient. The next one is Matplotlib or Seaborn. You can use one of these libraries for doing data visualization. Let's say as a data scientist, you are doing exploratory data analysis. Now you want to find outliers, or you want to just visualize some data patterns, or maybe you want to plot a confusion metrics after your machine learning model is built. For all of these purposes Matplotlib or Seaborn can be extremely useful. They are very very popular in data science community. Scrappy or beautiful soup. Again you don't have to use two libraries. You can use one of them and these are used for web crawling. Now if you look at any data science project, the first step in that project is always data collection. You can collect data either from your organization or you can buy ready with third party data. But often users see data scientists do web scraping. They go to internet and they scrap different websites for collecting the data dot and in Python Scrappy and Beautiful Soups are the two main libraries for this purpose. Sicket Learn. If you want to do statistical machine learning classification or regression, you have to use Sicket Learn. It has become the de facto library in the entire data science community without the knowledge of Sicket Learn. It will be very, very hard to get a data scientist job. TensorFlow from Google and PyTorch from Facebook are the two prominent libraries for doing deep learning. Spacey. Spacey is a library used to solve natural language processing or NLP problems. So if you're data scientists who are working specifically in NLP domain, then you need to know this library. There are data scientists who don't touch NLP problems. In that case, it's okay to not have knowledge on this library. The benefit of this library is that it is very good for beginners, very user-friendly syntax. And you can get started pretty fast. There is another library called an LTK which people sometimes use along with Spacey. But with Spacey there are so many features which are inbuilt and you can get going pretty fast you'll notice that the data scientists working in NLP domain will be using Spacey. NLP and they will be using sometimes PyTorch, TensorFlow etc. along with these libraries so most of the time if you're solving any NLP problem you will be using variety of libraries. But Spacey seems to be the most popular among all. The last one is OpenCV, which is used for image processing. So if you're a data scientist working in image processing domain, then you need to know this OpenCV library. Provides many ready-made functions for doing image processing. Such as let's say you want to increase the quality of an image and you want to use adaptive thresholding. You can write few lines of code in OpenCV. And there you go the quality is improved once again similar to spacey data scientists. Working in image processing domain will be using many other libraries along with OpenCV. So they might be using PyTorch, TensorFlow, etc. along with OpenCV to solve a given business problem. I hope you found this video to be useful. If you did, please share it with your friends who are trying to build a career in data science. If you have any questions that is a comment box below. Thank you.